Jameson Williams was reinstated, and unfortunately, we were not able to pick him up off of waivers right away. We had to wait because he was reinstated after the Thursday game, so it's been a long wait. Maybe you've forgotten about Jamison Williams, former first-round pick, and I love comping Jamison Williams to Will Fuller. There's a lot of metaphor, a lot of similar comps. He's a tall, skinny, not a big-bodied wide receiver. He's super, super fast, former first-round pick. He's playing for the Lions and playing in a dome, just Will Fuller. And he was super productive as a downfield threat in college. And that's what Will Fuller was as well. So I comp Jamison Williams to Will Fuller, not only because of the production profile, but also because of the off the field issues, right? Jamison Williams dealing with the peds, Jamison Williams dealing with the ACL injury. Will Fuller also has a history of ACL injuries. Plus, so Jamison Williams didn't have the peds, but he had the, the gambling issue that he got suspended for games for will fuller the head, the peds issue. That's there are some comps can't get along with, the, with, with the league rules there. So Jamison Williams, he's just got the talent profile. Now the concern with Jamison Williams is are the Detroit lions going to be rolling him out like a full-time player right away. And if we saw what they did with Jameson Williams coming out of the ACL injury last year was the Lions are willing to just have players earn their roles. And Josh Reynolds has played very well. Khalif Raymond has played very well. Like they're at least they've contributed in significant roles. And so Jameson Williams is going to have to earn his spot as a full-time player out of the gate. So you're going to pick him up but he's a stash and not a start this week. Could he go off for three catches for 90 yards and a touchdown? Absolutely. He absolutely can do that. It's within his production profile. We saw a 40 yard touchdown catch in, in as his only career catch in the NFL. Certainly spike weeks are possible for Jamison Williams, but it's not something that we are valuing as a good bet moving forward. Uh, until we see Jameson Williams earn a full-time role. And that's been the consistent message from the coaching staff all off season. We've heard Dan Campbell and Brad Holmes say he's got to earn his role. He's got to earn his spot. He's got to continue to improve. And that's the type of language as coaches, like there's, there's coach speak, which is a bunch of fluff, but then there's a real talk about what a player has to do. And we have to believe and take the lions at their word that Jamison Williams is going to have to earn his role. So he is, as I said, not an instant start, but a must-add player to your roster. You don't want a Will Fuller type of player not on your roster. But because when he hits, he will hit huge. There are other wide receivers that you know are floating on the waiver wire that don't have the type of upside that Jamison Williams has because of his production profile, because of his athletic profile, but Jamison Williams is a player that you don't want your league mates having either. So pick him up. He's available in about 75% of your leagues. If you enjoyed the content, found this helpful, make sure you guys are smashing that red subscribe button. 